Is this the true colour of Diplodocus? A new paper has just come out from Tess Gallagher and her colleagues that might have uncovered the colouring of one of the most famous sauropod dinosaurs. Based on the condition and location of incredible skin fossils, a possible narrative has emerged. It's 150 million years ago in the late Jurassic period of Earth's history, in a dry landscape that will one day be Montana. An age-segregated herd of around 16 juvenile Diplodocus, about elephant-sized, were moving across the landscape in the search for water. They arrive at an ephemeral watering hole, which might usually have been a reliable water source, but on this particular year, maybe a year of drought, the water had dried up. Possibly from exhaustion, a significant number of juveniles died in the heat, and the skin of their carcasses showed distinctive signs of desiccating under the sun for several months, and signs of scavengers picking at their remains. Eventually, a flash flood of thick sediment and water called a debris flow transported and buried the bones to a site called the Mother's Day Quarry. Gallagher and her team found the remains of these Diplodocus, their bones, and most importantly, their skin. Using scanning electron microscopy, the team analysed fossilised scales to discover tiny microbodies. Some of these, like small disc-shaped microbodies, are still unclear in their function, but others, like the oblong microbodies, are called melanosomes. Melanosomes are pigment-producing organelles housed within cells, and their shape, size and arrangement can correspond to particular colouring. In feathered dinosaurs, melanosomes are easily identified, but this is the first time that melanosomes have been found in a sauropod. Diplodocus was not a dull grey, as is sometimes depicted in the media. We now know that Diplodocus contained black and dark brown colouring. What's more, it had a spectacular array of different scale sizes and types, and their scales contained speckled patterns. But what the complete animal looked like is still unclear, as it's next to impossible that an entire 27 metre long Diplodocus skin will be discovered in each scale scanned. But now we have a starting point to better imagine how this awesome creature looked. Enter the paleo artists like me to have fun with this information.